Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So in research methodology, we are discussing about collection of data. As I told you in the last class, collection of data is two types, primary data and secondary data. Okay? So regarding primary data, we have discussed in depth in the last class. Now we will see today secondary data. Most of the time when you are going for research, primary data is compulsory and secondary data also very much useful to complete the research with a quality, then definitely secondary data is also required. What is the secondary data? Secondary data means the data already collected by someone, someone already collected and kept it and that data can be utilized by anyone. The same data can be utilized by anyone. So that is we say it as a secondary data. Secondary means already collected. Now we are using it. Second time we are using it. Anyone can use the data. <clears throat> but remember one thing, you cannot use it directly. Now what is required, we will take it and according to the requirement, we will be using this secondary data. Am I clear? There are two types of secondary data. I mean collection of secondary data is in two ways or two techniques you can say. First one is that internal secondary data and second one external secondary data. Easy to remember, nothing to worry. So internal secondary data means within the company itself only when data is available. That is we say it as a internal secondary data. Company itself only it is available, need not to search anywhere, need not to go to anywhere, need not to collect the data from someone, nothing is required, internal means within the company only this data is available. Right now we are discussing about research methodology related to the marketing, HR or finance related to our commerce and management related to it, not scientific, right. So in that way whenever we are doing any research the data internal company itself only arranging in company only we are getting the data that is why we say it is internal secondary data. Internal secondary data is three types. First one is sales analysis means how the sales have done and uh, what is the strategy of sales, how many sales they have done year wise, quarterly, half yearly like entire information which is available inside of the organization it's, itself only. That is why we say, it's a, we say it as a sales analysis. Second one is invoice analysis. Invoice means different kinds of uh, brochures or bills or any kind of evidence papers which are available inside of the organization that is we say it as a invoice analysis. Invoice is very much required. Confirmation, how do you get the confirmation? When data you want it, blindly you can't take the data if one, any solid information, any proof is there, then only it is possible and we will, we will confirm, we will come to know that this is sure data. So that is through some invoices also you can get it. So invoice analysis, second one. Third one is that accounting records. Through accounting records also you can get the data. Suppose that we need last five years balance sheet, where do you get from the accounting records? We want any particular information related to the assets only. How many assets were there? How much is decreasing? How much is increasing? And in the same way, reserves, liabilities. It can be anything, anything related to the information which is required for us from the accounts department. That we can say it as a accounting records. So these three are available inside of the organization only. Internal, secondary data. Able to remember? Sales analysis, invoice analysis and accounting records, that is it. Now let us go to the external, external, external secondary data. External means from outside, this is internal company, within company, within organization. External is from outside when we want data, that is we say it as a external, uh, external secondary data. Now how to collect this external data, I mean there are many ways, there are many ways, these are the ways. And any method you can follow, wherever possible it is there, collect the data. Do you know that when, when any person is doing research means anywhere, whenever data is required, he can use it. Suppose if a rough paper is available at somewhere, if it is useful, he has to pick that. I am not joking, it is serious, yes, he has to keep that paper also. Means if the research is to be uh, with a good quality, 
and if something useful to the society useful to the company useful to the industry then you have to do the research seriously from wherever possible it is that you have to collect the data and analyze it you have to present it now coming to the external secondary data 13 ways are there let me discuss each and every one so there is no difficulty first thing is that libraries you know that library is like a asset it's an asset for every researcher <clears throat> you can spend a lot of time in the library which library college library university library central library wherever possible related to his research he may get ample information for my research i spent two days continuously morning to evening morning to evening two days i spent my time in library university library usman university library then i got an understanding on which topic i have to do what is the material available so all these things so library is one of the best source to collect the secondary data that is why i have taken first second one is that literature literature means information which is related to the research okay so that literature also wherever it is available you have to collect that information most of the time <coughs> people will be searching from the google or from websites or from anywhere that literature and remember one thing when you have collected the literature it should not be presented as it is it should not be presented you have to change it you have to mold it however you want you have to precise it however you want you have to present it in that way exactly copy and paste it will become a problem for you okay so that is why you have to be very careful so that's about the literature and next periodicals periodicals means you will find some kind of magazines or relevant uh, publications some uh, some uh, periodicals will be thr uh, thrice means uh, quarterly yearly yearly quarterly means three months for every three months one time and half yearly for every year two times and yearly every year one time like different periodicals there are some uh, periodicals like every month also you will find it which is related to our research will be following that periodicals example of this periodicals are economics spelling is wrong i think economics m i c s economics finance trade industry labor etc etc anything whatever you want you can use it so that's about the periodicals second one is that census and registration data census means a large data collecting by someone collected already by someone most of the time government duty this is mm. census so what kind of census means it is uh, maybe census of what is this census cn census on population census on agriculture census on trade census on transport only examples it can be anything census on okay so this data is available available and you have to use it you can use it if required this is another way of collecting the secondary data and next one is the trade associations there are some trade associations which will give you the data from that associations we can take the required information maybe commerce trade or foreign trade export import anything it can be so from there you can collect the data that is trade associations next one is the government departments sometimes from the government department also we can take the we can collect the data and we can use it government departments means few examples one is banking finance area agriculture trade transport like wherever you want data from wherever you want to take the data you can use it government data is free of cost available in websites government web websites or google or wherever possible you can just go ahead you can directly visit and also collect the data that's about the government departments next one is that private sources not only this there are some private sources like uh, privately they are providing the data but it can be utilized by anyone example you can take books bulletins also you can see journals commercial reports all these things which are available in libraries and any outside also uh, city center library or government library uh, university libraries everywhere you can find these private sources and another one is that commercial data commercial data means there are some mediators 
who sell and purchase the data who collect and sell the data in fact private people who work for the research fellows suppose i am doing research i want some data i can approach this commercial data means some particular people are there they are ready to do the work so if i say i want this information they'll collect it they'll sell it to me means i have to buy it to some price so that is commercial data data is available but commercial pay and use it it will save the time it will save your energy so in that way also we can collect the secondary data another one is that financial data any finance related data you want for that also you can use it economic times of india and also commerce private limited these two are useful to collect the financial data of course from the companies also we can go ahead directly from the company websites another one is the international organizations if your research is very vast very vast then you want to go international level research then you have to uh, follow you have to get the information from the international organizations also international organization means example world bank united nation Org united nation organization organization unbo and uh, the asian bank and the african bank like etc etc there are some international organizations are there from there you can collect the data and also references and bibliography this is very much important when already research has completed you will find the research thesis in university libraries every research lab research uh, uh, the thesis back side they will be mentioning about the references and bibliography means what they have searched from where they got the information bibliography this is very much important if you go ahead through the references and bibliography you get an idea so they have done from so and so they go they referred so and so information the same information even you can use it even you can use that that is why this is very much important suppose i am doing research in banking banking means i have to uh, research uh, sorry not research i have to search thesis related to the ba banking back side bibliography i'll find use it refer it and present it that's it and in the same way volume of statistics some statistical information you want it so that statistical information is also available so how do you get that information there are some ways that is one is economic survey of india economic survey of india and statistical abstract these two websites if you go ahead you will get the some statistic information related to your inform related to your search okay and lastly advertising agencies there are some advertising agencies also so if you approach them they'll help you they'll give you the data they'll charge for that that's it so these are the external secondary data external ways to collect the secondary data am i clear and what are the advantages do we have mainly these are the advantages external data means already someone has done this someone has collected this data now we are using it first advantage is that economy you are not doing anything just simply using it very rarely you are paying something like commercial or last one which one advertising agencies otherwise the data is free so economy you are not spending much of your money and also quickness data is available search it get it and use it whereas if you go for primary data you have to collect the data you have to analyze it it will take lots of time here it is readily available so quickness without wasting of time you will get the data in the same way quality also but you have to check the quality if it is good then you can use it if the quality is not good then uh, that will harm our research so that will spoil the quality of our research that is why you have to check out the quality anyway most of the time you will find quality information only so that assurance is there and availability quite easy and as i told you so many ways are to search the secondary data availability is also quite easy you are not struggling much and also basis of comparison you can compare it the data also what you have collected and what you got it from the secondary data like comparison from one year to uh, next year 
means suppose say we are in 2022, 21, 22 comparison you want to do, data is available just compare it. From one, one organization to another organization can compare it, one branch to another branch, one state to another state, one department to another department, like you can easily compare it because the data is available. Use it and compare it, give the analysis, that's it. In the same way there is, there are another advantage, the, many, many more advantages like basis over, na? so it generates feasible alternatives. Feasible alternative means if this is not proper, you can go for another way. Because so many are there, so many ways are there to collect the second data. Whatever you want, you can use it, that is it, simple way. Hope I am clear with this lecture about secondary data. Very important, primary, secondary. If you are perfect, then only research is possible. So make sure you must be perfect, okay. Take the screenshot or note down. In the coming classes, we will see more information, more talks about research methodology. By the way, did you check our playlist? There are many subjects already covered which will be useful for professional courses like CA, CS, CMA, MBA and BCom, BBA. Anyone can use it. Even 11th, 12th students, anyone can use it. Please check out what do you want, use it and do not forget to share these videos because with lots of time and energy, I am preparing these videos for you all. Stay connected, study well, see you in the next class, good luck.